Come on in, come on in. The fire is hot. The water is a boiling. It's time to put something in this pot. Come on in. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Blog Talk Radio. Come on in. An area code 515-605-9718. Area code 515-605-9718. Greetings and salutations to my international listening audience. I am forever grateful to you and to yours for your continued listenership and participation in this high noon power lunch, revolutionary hoodoo, new audience hoodoo secrets and recipes. Greetings, greetings. Zambia. Greetings, Zambia. Come on in, Democratic Republic of Congo. Come on in, Uganda. Greetings, greetings, Kenya. Come on in, South Africa. Greetings, greetings, Salam to Egypt. Come on in, Nigeria. Greetings, Algeria. Welcome to my world community. Welcome, Australia. Thank you so much, Canada and the UK, for being faithful listeners. Welcome, Facebook. Welcome, Twitter. Welcome, Earth Camp. Greetings and salutations, one and all. All is a blessing. Come on in. All is a blessing. Eshu Alegwana Kosi Wari Awo Ono Uto Ne Iwo Ada Afan Bo Osi Obatalami Itani Ebo Anilio Avaneshu Eshu is the respected elder who flogs, confronts, and uncovers fools. The one versed in mysteries uses truth to own you. He causes scatter to feed poverty. Oh, Batala shakes rascals to have sacrifice. The owner of warnings is the one who is Eshu. Aboru, aboye, aboshishe, ashe. May our ebo reach a room. May our ebo be accepted. May our ebo allow what we desire to come to pass. And so we say ashe, asheo, and ashe. Greetings and salutations, one and all. Thank you so much for again joining me for 30 minutes of the new revolutionary hoodoo new audience voodoo secrets and recipes i want to quickly make an apology for missing my morning coffee at 8 a.m uh things got intense <laughs> okay last night so i didn't get a whole lot of sleep so please forgive me for that so i'm giving you a little bit of that but i'm certainly going to bring you the power lunch at high noon u.s central standard time Today is indeed Tuesday, May 10th, 2022, and I am emanating and vibrating with you and for you now live, virtually, verbally, cosmically, quantum universally from this working temple of the house of the Divine Prince. Thai potions, hoodoo central in this legendary, beautiful, historic, some would say most haunted, I would say most enchanted city in America, New Orleans, Louisiana. Yes, the land of my ancestors and those who came before me along this hoodoo will be a life path and journey. Passing down the great Obia stick along with the knowledge of the life giving herbs, roots, plants, rituals, spirits, minerals, indeed our history, our tradition, our sacred stories as our beloved denise augustine would say our sacred stories and remember you can still visit us for your tour plus experience at www.oursacredstories.com all is a blessing please do take the time to stop and like follow and subscribe to the youtube and the blog talk radio as it is scrolling across the screen blogtalkradio.com forward slash the hyphen divine hyphen prince and of course youtube.com forward slash voodoo tie v-o-o-t-o-o i'm sorry v-o-o-d-o-o-t-y-e voodoo tie 
D O like Victor, O O D like David, O O T like Tom, Y E. The new revolutionary hoodoo New Orleans voodoo secrets and recipes. No, there will be no more prolex manuscripts and broadcasts. I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to keep it quick and going. And of course, the phone lines are open. And before I open the phone lines, I, I, I want to make some clear protocols. Um, indeed, this is a ATR based spirituality and traditional religious production. But certainly we talk about world and global religions, world and global spiritual practices. And certainly we have a global international audience, for which I'm very grateful for. Remember, you can always listen on the go and call in at my new call-in number. For my longtime listeners, there's a new call-in number, area code 515-605-9718, 515-605-9718. When you're ready with your question, comment, and request, first, be patient with me, okay? Give me a moment to get to you. Two, as my first caller has all already done, press the number one on your telephone keypad. This raises your hand virtually and allows me to unmute your mic and bring you into the conversation. I will be doing something that before I said I wasn't going to do. Something before that has not always worked out well on the show. But I will be doing live readings again on the platform. But there will be some some rules. First and foremost, they will be 100% free. No donation, no offering. Um, your offering, your sacrifice is that you're asking often personal questions in a public format. And they will be addressed publicly. So choose your questions carefully. <laughs> choose your questions carefully. If you, if you need privacy and, and, and you need a, a, a anonymity, email me, divineprince at houseofthedivineprince.com. But the online readings will be free. They certainly will be quick, under three minutes. This is a three, a 30-minute podcast as of uh, yesterday. Adults only, adults only. This will be no holds bar. This will be adulting conversation, adults only. All readings will be recorded, obviously. Almost all will be live and later reposted, reshared. I will do my best to prevent fake and multiple accounts. We've had issues with that in the past. Uh, people popping in with craziness, people opening their mics with craziness. I will do my best to screen uh, and vet open mics, open cameras before we introduce them into this space. I will be using spirit, empathic, trans, mediumship, no tools. Again, we're talking about two to three minute conversations. Uh, and of course, unadulterated. And by all means, respect the voodoo, no matter what you do, respect the voodoo. I would do my best to send out a notice when I'm doing the broadcast. I'm, I'm getting better at that, um, being more consistent, more regular, more available in terms of the podcast. Um, I have more than one podcast now, certainly the 8 a.m. coffee. I consider it 9 a.m., but I, I want to consider the East Coast and, and beyond. Uh, uh, so I don't know. Right now it's 8 a.m. Uh, of course, my 12th noon position will maintain and of course now the midnight uh affirmation meditative uh, wind down let me put you to sleep a uh, great platform great show uh we'll be we, we will be opening up to a little bit of conversation again adults only uh, adulting conversation only and again as always you can reach me by way of my website at www.houseofthedivineprince dot com www.houseofthedivineprince.com there is a contact form there that goes straight to the email but you could also email me directly at divine prince at house of the divine prince dot com 
recreating reality. Caller, I, I have not neglected you. Oh, but she's gone, or he's gone, or, or, or they are gone. <laughs> okay. So uh, maybe the protocol list uh, cleared out my, my phone uh, psychic request. Certainly, I still have listeners. And if you have questions, comments, do press the number one on your telephone keypad. I uh, certainly will be uh, more than happy to bring you into the conversation. Recreating your reality. I'm asked, you know, all oh, it's a blessing, it's an illusion. I, I kind of briefly unpacked that on yesterday. But recreating your reality, how do we recreate our reality? And as I often do, I'm going to say what I've always said, but just in a very different way today. A lot of people are living with beliefs that hurt them. Let's cut straight to the fat meat. Let's cut straight to the shadow work, recreating reality. Because indeed, if you were, you know, a millionaire, you know, you probably understand how to recreate that. Uh, and that probably doesn't give you quite the anxiety that the hurt the fear, the despair, the anxiety locked up in the dark matter in our shadow. So a lot of people are living with beliefs that hurt them, beliefs that cause doubt, fear, anxiety, limitation, the illusion of lack and depression. And so good beliefs give you faith, hope, happiness, a sense of a better day, a sense of a uh, clearer tomorrow. And without good beliefs, you will suffer much more than you have to in your life. Understanding that the spirit realm, which, which encases our mind, our emotions, our feelings, is more real, more evident, more tangible, more expectatious than anything we can imagine or envision in this physical earth plane reality. And so without good beliefs, you suffer more than you have to. Because beliefs shape our reality. And when you take control of your beliefs, you take control of your reality. To understand how to have better belief, a better sense of reality, we, we need to understand what belief truly is. Beliefs are a form of knowing. Beliefs are necessary. And the right beliefs are useful, but beliefs are the lowest form of knowing. Beliefs are your lowest form of knowing. I believe things will get better. I believe he's going to come back. It's the lowest vibrational form of knowing. Beliefs are ideas that do not come out of direct experience. Moses parted the Red Sea. That's a statement, but it's not from anyone's direct experience. It doesn't mean that it's not true, but it just means that we can't be certain because we weren't alive. We weren't there to witness it, to experience it. The things we are certain about are beyond belief. That's why our feelings, our emotions, our inner world is so critical to our wellness to our spiritual health, to our mental health, and certainly to your ability to produce magic that's reliable, tangible, lasting, results-oriented. And so the things we are certain about are certainties. And certainty is the highest form of knowing, certainty. And because certainty comes from direct experience, and direct experience is our reality. So your pain becomes your certainty. You're certain that there is more pain. You're certain that people aren't safe. You're certain that you can't trust. And it's based on your direct experience. Doesn't make your experience right, doesn't make your experience wrong. It is your experience and your presence and interpretation and experience in the moment. It's not that beliefs can't be useful or that the negative beliefs aren't destructive. It's that beliefs are less reliable forms of knowing than certainty. Than certainty. 
So in maintaining affirmation and maintaining or reeking, even in your prayer life, you are speaking into the universe that which you wish to become your reality. So yes, beyond the power of prayers, certainly it works. Yes, beyond the power of positive thinking, certainly it works. But belief is just the lowest form of knowing. Beliefs are subject to object reality. I like to say relative reality. Is it a relative truth in the moment? Because there's no objective reality. It's all plastic. It's all an illusion. If you can just see beyond the veils, reality is experience and your experience is subjective. Your beliefs are merely statements about the reality of people, places, and things. Your beliefs are merely statements about the reality of people, places, and things. A person's beliefs are merely the best mental maps available to that person at that particular time. Beliefs are bought and sold through agreement. The bulk of most people's major beliefs are sold to them by thought leaders often from beyond the grave. And those beliefs are constantly being challenged by more powerful arguments. And over time, the bulk of the world's widely beliefs are dethroned by more powerful arguments. And beliefs are necessary and useful to navigate the game of life, but they are not certainty. Certainty comes from experience and it's experience that is your reality. It is experience that is your reality. And your experience of life is nothing more than a series of state changes, changing the state of your mind, changing the state of your perception. Well, I know there's a psychologist out there, there's a well-grounded individual out there who doesn't fly, who doesn't explore, who, who, who doesn't have a lot of imagination who's very rational and left-brained. And this is why I have my clients and my godchildren and my initiates and my students listen, which requires three things, by the way. <laughs> Keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Stop talking in your head and then paying attention to what's being said, S suspending judgment in, in the moment to hear what's being said. Um, and then certain, certainly um, we need to reorganize our thought process through activity, mantras, prayers, and, and certainly physical activities along with the mantras, the prayers, the chants also reinforces things in the memory. You know, if you count or, or, or come up with color code combinations to people's names. Uh, if you identify a person with a particular feeling or a particular location or a particular event, sometimes it makes it easier for you to remember their names. So certainly crystallizing your belief, but then bringing it out into the physical reality, journaling, 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 speaking it out over yourself, over your family, over your life, and then, of course, action, activity, motion, movement. There's so many more directions I could go with that, but I just don't have that amount, that amount of time uh, in a 30-minute podcast. But I'm certainly grateful for your listenership and your participation. Greetings, Alexis Williams. Welcome, welcome. Come on in, beloved. Welcome. Chef Bougie, I'm certainly honored and grateful for you and your family and your consistent love and support and participation in the in the work i don't know where my chat is but listen y'all things are changing things are changing i won't be doing the the, the long <laughs> two-hour podcast anymore it's going to be 30 minutes and out. My, my production team is just not having it. My body is just not having it. 
my schedule just won't allow for it. So I'm doing more. I'm being available more, but the time that I have to spend um, is going to be very limited. So keeping a journal, writing down your activities, keeping up with your, your ritual activities by documenting them in your journal, certainly your dreams, your aspirations, your visions, your, your creative imagination, you certainly want to document and record that as well. Uh, the spirits will give us businesses, the spirits will give us ideas, the spirits will give us answers, direct answers to many of our questions. Certainly diet, getting plenty of water and fresh fruits and healthy fruits and vegetables, uh, and, and not so much no processed food, and not so much meat, and not so much fat, and, and artificial this and artificial that, and synthesize this and synthesize that. Certainly helps to clear out decipher and provide for a, a, a clearer connection to the spirit realm mental exercises mental exercises not just worrying or, or, or random thought but actual mental exercises that allow you to create and recreate a reality that mirrors your best interest that allows you to see a reality that mirrors your best interest spiritual exercises and certainly our religious activities and our ritual activities and ceremonial activities within our diverse community here in this circle diverse religious community diverse cultural community diverse uh geographical uh community certainly we have our spirit practices and our ritual religious practices which are also critical to self-care and reprogramming the scatter of energy that we confront in our daily existence as God, as spirits, having an earthly clay vessel experience and certainly actual demonstration. Going beyond your quiet place, going beyond your safe corner, your, your prayer room, going beyond your church community. Um, I'm often puzzled by the religiosity of some religious communities and their lack of involvement in the community. Uh, one particular community likes to knock on your door and disturb you on Saturday mornings. And, and, and I immediately start asking, where's your clothing closet? Where's your food pantry? Where are you providing housing? Where are you helping out uh, the single uh, mother? Where are you uh, helping the, the pregnant young women? Never an answer for that. <laughs> they, they, they never have an answer for that. And, and thus, they stop coming. Um, and of course, reprogramming happens with thought, belief, action, and activity in concert, in combination. Uh, let me check my uh, chat here. Greetings, greetings. Uh, locked on the divine journey well welcome i'm certainly appreciative of you okay <laughs> okay locked in a divine journey says uh i was just thinking about you this morning texting uh grandmother i was trying to quote your saying it's a divine mystery life i know i said it wrong yeah i said all is a blessing if you can see beyond the veils because it is all just an illusion and a test and one of the greatest divine mysteries of this life cycle and the divine mystery the divine mystery is the divine question what is life why are we here um what's our purpose if there's a god why would god create clay vessel and blow spirit into it and breath into it and place us here to war and do what? Uh, the book says to be fruitful and multiply. Uh, so, and, and of course, every community, every religion, every creation story has their sort of approach to that. But that is the divine mystery that I reference beyond, you know, our personal quirks and interest and, and 
uh, taste and qualities of life and lifestyles. Why are we here? What is our purpose? What are we here to do? Is it just for personal fulfillment? Is it just, you know, to suffer and die? Is it just, you know, uh, Marvin Gaye about taxes and trouble? You know, what is our purpose? There are some among us who understand divine calling, who have accepted divine call. There's some among us who've accepted and embraced ministry, certainly ministry. There are those among us who are in the healing work, in the work of doing healing. And again, that's not just religion, that's our medical professionals and, and our dedicated individuals in our community who use their hands and their empathy and their sympathy to bring love and, and support. So that is the divine mystery, and I and I appreciate you and yours for remembering and for sharing that uh, with your grandmother. You woke up this morning and glanced at the Monster Coffee brand they sell at the truck stop, and you got the download to pour coffee under the tree, but I ignored it. And got Sixty it. <laughs> seconds. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I listen. I I might move my eight a.m. coffee to nine, maybe, just maybe. But um, because then it would be really close between the nine a.m. and then the twelve noon. Uh, eight a.m. and noon I thought would be convenient. Um, but after that midnight show, being ready for eight a.m. is going to be a challenge for me. I'm just keeping it one hundred live on air. Uh, but I certainly appreciate you uh, locked in a divine journey for acknowledging uh, the coffee ministry, certainly. And and thank you for uh, your love and your support and your continued listenership. Listen, it's been a gr great podcast. I know the chat ain't jumping as of yet. People don't believe fat meat is greasy. I am not gonna be doing the two hour, three hour podcast anymore. I, I'm just not. I have bigger things happening that I have to be present for. So I'm grateful and I pray you're grateful too for 30 minutes a day at high noon, U.S. Central Standard Time with the Divine Prince, House of the Divine Prince, Thai Potions and Hoodoo Central on various platforms. Thank you, StreamYard, YouTube, Blog Talk Radio, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Facebook, EarthCam, wherever I can be viewed, shared, reshared, liked, and subscribed. Until next time, remembering that all is truly and indeed a blessing. Ashe, Asheo, and Ashe.